On Prime Time Asia tonight, the Louvre Museum under lockdown after an attack takes place at one of Paris's top tourist attractions. Authorities say a knife-wielding man assaulted a French soldier. A warning from America's new defense chief, Washington says it will issue an effective and overwhelming response if Pyongyang uses nuclear weapons. TEPCO sounds the alarm over record high radiation levels at its Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, but it says only one reactor is affected and there are no leaks. I'm Sarah I'll call you with all your business headlines. A change at the helm in one of Indonesia's biggest companies. The top two executives at state-owned oil and gas giant Pertamina have been sacked over leadership problems. Good evening and welcome to Primetime Asia. I'm John Leong. We begin in Paris where a shooting incident took place in just the last few hours at one of the French capital's top tourist attractions. Reports say a French soldier at the Louvre Museum opened fire on a knife-wielding man who tried to attack him. A museum spokesperson says the site has been closed but is not saying if it's been evacuated. 